It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're here with the survivors again. And today we're gonna be checking out Buenos Aires because we're working on that with the guild currently. And so far, we're about halfway through the second tier. Not too bad. We're slowly working our way there. We're doing good. So I've got a pretty solid setup for this one. I have been using. Pull it up right here. Reset it. I always have at least one machine gunner with me. I've usually been borrowing another machine gunner as well because it's really nice to have those extra machine gunners. Specifically on Buenos Aires because I am doing it on expert. Now I also enjoy bringing along my mercenary. I like the fire chief. I bring some of the sharpshooters. The, I bring some snipers along. And then of course I always like having my dead shot. But I'm actually going to use that for my second group that I'll end up using. So I'm just going to bring along my gunslinger. Should I bring the EMT? Uh, let's bring the commando with. So we're going to accept that and we're going to head on over to expert. We're just working our way up, trying to get tier 2 for everybody that needs it so that everyone can get one step closer to the Destructor. The Destructor is awesome, tons of fun to play with, and everybody wants that. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Alright, so, I'm getting pretty much the exact same map for every single level on Expert, which is the one that you see right here. Now, as you see, there's three spawn points. Uh, one only has a wave 3 with runners. That's pretty easy to handle. I haven't had any problems with that. This one's walled off, so all I really do is I put a machine gunner in there, move them all back here. I keep a couple snipers in there. Uh, I put a, a mercenary just because since we do have some runners, uh, they tend to get closer than I'd like. And I like to have those guys that can take out those guys on the walls and then we just have the machine gunner pretty much just sweep the rest of the waves out. And then next we have the next pad right here. Now this one's pretty far back. I actually tend to use this one right in the furthest back next to the wall. I throw down a machine gunner. I put pretty much the rest of my snipers down because they're so far back, they'll be able to handle more amounts of zombies coming up, as you'll see. And then for this fa this final wave, I pretty much just throw down, at least, I don't think I'm even going to need the machine gun, so I'm just going to throw down the rest of my mercenaries. One uh, fire chief just, you know, takes some damage just in case uh, anybody does get a little bit closer than we'd like. And it's just throw down the gunslinger. And I just upgraded my commandos to 14. I'm excited for that. It's going to be fun. Let's just start the waves and kind of break down this map. This is on expert, as I did say. And it's pretty much, it's pretty easy, because as you see, the machine gunner pretty much just tears up this pad. Uh, you could probably just do as well with any, mach like, mer uh, mercenaries, a lot of stack, things like that. But the machine gunner does a great job behind those walls. Now, over here, as you can see, it's pretty far away, so the sniper has plenty of room to shoot down any uh, mutated zombies, like the runners or anything like that. In this case, we have titans, which just does great. And then we have the machine gunner just taking down, mowing down people. Now, with the snipers, gives it pretty much keeps the waves back just far enough and gives the time for the machine gunner to pretty much spin up and get ready. So, we're pretty much just dominating this. Not a problem at all. And as you can see, the final wave, we're not going to have any problems right over here. So, let's look at these. I like having, I like the snipers. Snipers are really cool. I really enjoy snipers a lot. They're just cool looking. Machine gunners help out. Just need to finish off the last group. And boom. Got the win. We cleared it. Three stars. No problem. Got a personal trainer. I will take that. I love it. Uh, Alright, here we go. We're going to switch completely. We're going to switch right over to LA. Cameron here needs LA. We're going to help him out. So we're going to head right on over to LA. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to get some attacks in here. I'm just tell him started. All right, here we go. So let's defend some LA on expert. I'm gonna bring the same loadout. Uh, let's see if we can swap this out for a. Uh, I'm gonna bring scatter shots. I like scatter shots. They're pretty much just mercenaries, but they're better, and I enjoy them. I think this thing they kill two zombies in one shot. I think that's what it is, something like that. But they're very good. I really like them a lot. All right, so how many hospitals? We have two hospitals. Not too bad. All right, with what we have here, put the flag right over here. Put some um, for one machine gun over here. Put all three spec ops back here. Why not? And then let's throw down two. Let's just throw in one of the scatter shots, and then the rest is gonna be mercenaries right here. So we pretty much have a pretty set. I don't think anybody's gonna be able to get past that. Um, it'll mercenaries and spec ops give time 
for the handy dandy machine gunner to roll up. I don't think it's going to be any problems there. And then the final place right here, this is pretty congested area, not going to lie. I'm going to throw all, I'm going to throw, ugh, I'm going to put two fire chiefs. wanted to put three, but I accidentally put down a mercenary. It's all good though. And then I'm going to throw down the last machine gunner right back here. He'll have a clear view of both um, oncoming troops. Move this right over there. Let's throw down three more of these spec ops. Not spec ops. What am I saying? I meant, um, what are the scatter shots? And then right with those, I'm just going to put two sharpshooters just to help out a little bit. And then hopefully we'll be good. Put one down there. And put it down a fire chief. And let's speed it up. Looking good. I think we're going to handle this just pretty easily. LA isn't too hard. As I've leveled up my troops, it's gotten easier and easier. Gotten different loadouts that I'm able to place different people in the correct places. With this one, I'm just having these, pretty much these fire chiefs up front. They're just taking damage for me. Helping pretty much just keep them away from my lower health units. Okay. Hopefully they'll take out this machine gunner so I can just put down another fire chief. That would be nice. But as you can see, we're handling it no problem at all. The machine gunner's back there loading up. He's helping out a ton. No problem. Back here, same thing. No problem. We are just looking good. Alright, so with this case, I'm going to throw down a Molotov cocktail back here. So I'm going to have to deal with that area as much. Keep it less congested. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, right here, we're just not having any problems with this one. This setup's pretty locked down. Locked down defense. Probably didn't even need all these troops. Probably. I probably could have saved a few more. I did use a lot, but we're looking good. Took out the last zombie. That's 70, I believe. 70 experience or progress on the bar. Yep. 74 plus the guild bonus. Perks of being level 15 right there. And we're working our way to 16 now. I wonder what the perk is. I haven't looked at because I haven't seen what the perks we've unlocked. So we get extra unit XP and increases chance of finding epic units. That's nice. That is very nice. Next one I'm going to like lowers stamina regeneration to 45 minutes. I'm looking forward to that one. That one's going to be very nice. Do another stamina one. 40 minutes. That's nicer. Pretty good. 35 minutes, that's clutch. That's not until like level 50, that's going to take forever. Alright, let's keep just hitting up LA. Get to tier 1 easily by ourselves. You know what? I'm just going to bring these guys. Be a little bit of a challenge. See if we can handle it. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, I don't even know if we can. It's actually a pretty tough setup right here. Four troops. And how many do we have total? We have about 11, 13 maybe. I just did that really quickly. I just looked at it. Didn't really try to do it. Mm, Alright. How are we going to handle this? Alright, so I'm going to put the same little setup right over here. I'm going to definitely have one machine gunner on this end. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Okay, we definitely need one here. That's a must. And then we're going to put these guys back. Eh. Jesus. Goodness gracious. What have I done? I put down the extra machine gunner. Okay, you know what? This just got really interesting. All right. Okay. We're going to deal with this somehow. We're going to figure this out. Okay. Whew. Guys, this just got really interesting. I actually put down the machine gunner. All right, so we're going to put down two fire chiefs right there to just take damage for us. That's what we need the most right now. Put down one commando. Let's put down the rest. I like commandos. All right, so we just got a solid group over here. Whew. But the good thing is we have two machine gunners over here, which is... That's nice. Hopefully they'll, if they die, we're done. But we got two fire shoots to take damage, two machine guns to deal damage. And we're just going to be rolling. Let's speed this up. I'm really worried. I'm more so worried about this side of the map just because we don't have as many things to help out. These guys aren't doing anything. I don't know what they're doing. Can you help out a little bit? Thank you. Just work your way over there. Bring it back, boys. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're not doing too bad right now. We're looking good. Over here, it's cake. We're just dominating. Machine guns are just going to town. Again, let's stim up these guys. Give them a little bit more power. Uh, take out that spitter. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. Alright, so our deathly mistake did not really affect us too much just yet. I'm using my Mazov cocktail over here. I'm going to throw it down there. Cause some damage. Perfect. I love it. Over here, two machine guns just going to town. No problems at all. I'm going to see if I can throw down. Do I need to use anything? I'm going to stem up this group over here. Finish out those last drones over there. One more drone right there. And boom. Love it. That's what I like to see right there. That's a win. 
All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, uh, try closing game and restarting. It's open. Get him in on some of these attacks. There we go. All right, LA continuing on. So one more attack will be at tier one. One step closer, it'll be easy for him because. Really, I'm able to help people out really quickly because three attacks, I'm at tier one. They help me out a little bit with tier two, and we're pretty much just right there. So let's defend it one more time. Uh, let's see. Let's pick up some other fun troops. I'm going to get a bunch of snipers. Get the buzzsaw. I like having the buzzsaw with me. Get these three snipers. And that. These guys right here. What else can we borrow? You know what? That's good. I like that. Here we go. One more. We're home free, tier one. I love it. All right, uh, let's see. Same map again. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a, one dead shot back here, a machine gunner here, and just put two snipers. We're just gonna do a bunch of snipers on this one. Probably not the smartest thing in the world, but I want to do it. So if we can get one more sniper over here, if I move this up just a bit, yeah, there we go. Now to fit one more sniper over there. We got four snipers, one machine gunner. Uh, I may put one outlaw or two right over there, just depending on how this end gets set up. Put one machine gunner here. Buzzsaw is going to go over here. Let's put the those lumberjacks right there, just to take some damage. So then dead shot there, and hmm. all right. So let's put down some outlaws right there. That'll be fun. And see what happens if I put. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's start these waves, finish it off, and get to tier one on LA. Here we go. Here we go. So we're look at that. Can barely get off the pad. Machine gunners. Once you level them up to a lot, a pretty high level, they're just on point. They just dominate completely. Then you have those one cities that are just impossible to do anything with. Those are rough. Those are really hard. Alright, so as you can see, I'm just going to stim up this group right here, just for fun. So we got those two machine guns just going to town on the pads. No problem at all. Let's look at it over here, where we have a bunch of snipers. Lockdown defense right there. Lockdown D. I love it. Alright, so the Molotov cocktail is going to go down right there, just to help out a little bit. Took down the spitter and a runner. Good use. I'm, I'm a fan. All right, so we took out the brute slash colossus slash whatever it is. I don't even know. All right, so we're just pretty much going to town right here. Bop. All right, what's left? Got a few drones left. Boom. Cake. Mmm. That's right. That is tier one completed. I love it. Continue and see if he was able to get in on it. If he read my message. Perfect. Awesome. Use that exclamation mark. I love it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What did I get my rewards? It's okay. Not really exciting me much, but hey, it's all good. Alright, I'll probably get a few more attacks in later just to help him get to tier 2. But guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I got uh, Buenos Aires, a little bit of that, and LA working trying to get to tier 2. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.